So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here joining us. Thanks so much for being here. Six o'clock. Sage just woke up. I usually take her out of the out of the bassinet, take her into the into the nursery, and change her. So she's just she's just patiently waiting for me to change her diaper. Then I put her into this guy here. It's like a sleep sack. So normally I change her diaper, put her into a sleep sack. Put her back in bed, she feeds for a little bit, and then hopefully falls back asleep. <laughs> okay, diaper change time. Let's change your diaper. Okay. Hey yo, hey yo. Morning, that's good. You could pee pee? Okay. Okay, so I'm all showered. Morning routine's done. Got my second cup of coffee. Normally what I do while Sage is, is sleeping and Nicole's sleeping is I just start getting like her pump stuff ready. So this would have been sanitized last night and like left on the dryer so I start just putting that stuff together, start putting Sage's bottle together, go check on them, see how they're doing. They're asleep. I am going to have a little mat time, enjoy myself, maybe, uh, maybe give Cashew there some cuddles. Can you see her? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, see you soon. Morning. I oh, I was gonna get her for a bottle, but she's getting the good stuff straight from the tap. Come well, on, we got a bottle warming up and the pump ready. We'll swap out. I'll okay. I'll change her and stuff and then try to see if I'll just take the bottle. So at night we like to put her in these sleep gowns. They're just a little bit more cozy and comfortable. Hello, outfit of the day, OOTD. Good. It's not as good as the real deal. 
All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pop in to the shower. I know you guys are asking like how we get things done and we just kind of like take team. So while Matt is feeding her, if she takes it, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'm gonna pump. Okay. All right, so I just made my herbal coffee. I put it in one of these like thermos cups so it actually stays warm in time for, or long enough so I can drink it. I am currently pumping, hopefully you can't see my nips, and I'm just using, I'll link it down below, I'm using this one um, by Philips Avent. I got my laptop here um, because I'm going to do some emails. I usually try to take this time to either rock Sage if she's in one of her bouncers next to me, but Matt has her, or and do emails while drinking my herbal coffee. So you know, just multitasking, and Cashew is sleeping, in case you're wondering. Her routine has not changed. And in case you're wondering, I usually put a timer on so that I know how long I'm pumping. I usually do about 20 minutes each day. All right, so Matt just did a diaper change. She usually takes the bottle like every morning, but you know, she knows we're filming, so she's like, she doesn't want to cooperate today. And Matt is just putting the milk in the little storage bag so we can put in the freezer. We usually do one bottle in the freezer and then we leave the leftover milk in the fridge so Matt can bottle feed for the next day. I'd put her in the snoo, which is our bassinet. We love it. We can talk about it a little bit more in this video. Um, it just straps them in. I think it's rated like the safest um, baby bassinet. And it was actually created by a baby sleep doctor or expert. I, I forget exactly what it was, but I love it. Um, we They're quite expensive. <laughs> totally worth the money, um, but we actually got ours used off Kijiji. So um, a lot of people will just buy them. You only use them for six months or you can rent them. And then a lot of people will just resell them. Like they keep their value. So while she's napping, I'm just going to finish getting myself ready. I'm going to make a smoothie. Um, you guys asked me a lot in my, I did like a Q and A thing on Instagram stories on what you want to see in today's video. And a lot of you guys are wondering what I eat as a busy new mom. Um, so smoothies is key for breakfast in the morning. I pretty much have one like six days out of the week um so i'm gonna go make one for matt and i also how cute is her name sign i love it <laughs> okay i'm gonna get myself ready and get a smoothie in me so she's already been napping for 18 minutes so i may only have another 10. <laughs> we'll see and we use for apps that we use the snoo bassinet has like an app already built into it so that's great because we can track um, her naps and her bedtime or her nighttime sleeps. We also use this other app. It's called the Baby Tracker. I'll link it for you guys. You can track um, their feeds, their diapers, their sleep, pumping, all that fun stuff. It's great because both parents can have the app on their phone and kind of just communicate that way. I'm gonna make a smoothie and stop talking because Sage is gonna wake up. I know it. <laughs> I always think I have an hour. I don't. In the best case scenario, she sleeps for like an hour and a half, but it's probably gonna be 45 minutes. Side, just kind of straps her arms down and swaddles them. Hi, Cashew. Hi. Oh, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Hey. Oh, you 
had almost an hour nap, 51 minutes. Yeah. Do you have a diaper? Oh yeah, let's go change your diaper. I love her outfit, little peaches. By the way, in case you don't know, her nickname is Peach. We're gonna go change her and then I'll probably feed her and then do a little playtime with her. Look at this gorgeous girl. Say hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. All right, my little koala bear. Let's go to your bedroom. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to change you first and then we'll go give you some milky, okay? Okay, I know. I know. Oh, bless you. I just refilled my smoothie. It is 11 now, and she's gonna have to have her milky again. Yeah, Aww. So the other reason I really love this app is, let me just mark it. You can track what side you're feeding on, uh, cause it's really important just to like make sure you're switching sides and otherwise like one side will get really engorged. Um, so yeah, I just love it. I can track it. I can easily see where I left, what boob I left off on. And also I like that it times how long she's been feeding for because it's easy to lose track if you're on your phone, you're watching something or whatever it is that you're doing. You can sometimes not realize how long they've been feeding for. That way too, I can just kind of guess on how much milk she's getting. Um, if it's already been like 12 minutes and she's latching off, then usually I'm like, okay, like, I'll switch her to the other side or maybe she's done. It just depends, but it just makes it easier to, to track it with the, the timer in the app. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good burp. That was a good one. Ah. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. Gosh, you leave it. Oh my god. Are they stringy at the bottom? Are they curly on the top? Where'd your socks go? Okay, let's do let's do some let's do some tummy time. Yeah. Look. Look, that's you in the mirror. See? That's you. It's a hot air balloon. It's a plane. We have a rocket ship and a bus. Cashew. Okay, okay. Gentle. Look, this you. You want to do it too? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> so I actually love this play gym. Oh, I love this play gym. I will link it below. Not only is it really cute looking, there's a ton of little things in it that's really good for development, uh, for different stages. It grows with your baby and I just love it. There's like attachments, like we just got this one. I think it's called sensory strands. And there's like little sand. That, oh. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a cashew one. Honestly, it's just a fun way to be able to see them starting to like play and notice things and shapes and stuff. Like it comes with inserts like mirrors and these like contrast cards. Just the three girls hanging out in Sage's room, huh? Okay. Okay. So I just have her in her mama room right now. Daddy's taking a shower, and then I think we're gonna go for a little family walk. So this is like real life. I'm just trying to review a blog post, and Sage was only in here for like five minutes, and already she's. Not happy. Maybe you're hungry? Okay. I'm using my old vlog camera right now and it's definitely a difference. You can tell. It's, what time? 12.30, still on my second glass of smoothie. Hi, 
Hi, pumpkin. Hi. Hi. Are we going to go for a walk? Yeah. A walk with your sister and your daddy? <laughs> Uh, so we are gonna go on a little family hike. I was just saying to Matt, I feel like I'm feeling a little sad today, which I'm sure everyone's feeling the same way in the sense like, I just feel like I haven't seen many family or friends or, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a weird time. So I'm very grateful for this little beach. But yeah, I'm just feeling a little like disconnected with, with people right now, so. It's weighing down on me. I'm sure, like I said, a lot of people are feeling like that. And there's, you know, only so much FaceTime and Zoom calls can do. So I think we're gonna get some fresh air. I feel like that's also, like I didn't get out yesterday. So, Ooh, okay. Um, so I think that's gonna definitely help me feel better. I always feel like fresh air like feel, makes me feel better mood wise. And, oh, okay. So we're gonna get some fresh air and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna have a nice healthy lunch and do some work. And we're just gonna chill. Okay. Also, it's like January. So but yeah, January is the sad. Like, yeah, I know. Bit. I'm sure that's starting to come in. It's already been. I didn't even think about that. It gets dark so early. Yeah, it's like a depressing month. Time. Plus, you're locked down, so you can't even do like a trip somewhere to like rejuvenate. Yeah. Yeah, that's it too. Winter blues. It was different in the summertime when we could at least go to the beach or just like be outside more, like picnics and see people. But I really only can see like my friends or family members if we're doing like a hike and we're distancing. But even that, like I haven't done many of those. So and it's cold outside, so it's not much we can do. So yeah, that's just the realness of it. I know sometimes like on Instagram and stuff, it can seem like everything's all great and happy, but definitely like gets to me sometimes where I'm just like, it's just shitty how things are right now. So we're gonna make the best of it, go for a walk, get some fresh air, and be grateful for our little family. <laughs> Bundle you up so you're nice and warm. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I feel like a little starfish. <laughs> gonna wrap you up like a burrito. All right, so we're in, there's like a little forest area close by our house. Now that she's just a little bit older, she's starting to be more comfortable in like the car seat and now the stroller, which is great because we want her to be a good traveler. Hey, Matt? Yeah, I'm just gonna find a stick. Oh yeah, we gotta find a stick for Cashew. But it's so nice out, this is exactly what I needed. And it's nice that she's passed out because this is basically nap time. Perfect. We. We timed that out pretty well, eh, Matt? With newborns, you need to time it perfectly because if you go for a walk and they're hungry or need a diaper change, like it's just gonna mess up the whole the whole scenario. Oh, this battery's dying now too. <gasps> also, we like to bring a portable sound machine so she's extra cozy on her walks. Cashew found a friend. Hey! Woo! Oh, she's tired. She was just crying. She's been chewing on that suit. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, she's tired. Okay, gonna like... go home, give you some milky. It's actually, it's really nice out. Yeah, it is. Cashew had a good plate. Cashew, right? don't chew on that. Hey, she's trying to break free because she's having too much fun. Come on. Market. All right, I'm gonna have a snack before we make lunch. I'm gonna have some of these. These are like little, what are they? Granola bites. They're really good. And they're just good in a pinch. Oh, you lost a sock. <laughs> yeah, she's crying because she lost her sock. Mmm. Food.
Okay, so while I'm feeding her, I just wanna show you guys two supplements that we've been giving her. This one here is a probiotic. It's in powder form. It's by NFH. It's the children's pro bio sap. Uh, we were recommended that from our doula. And then also this one is just a liquid D D3 um, for babies. So obviously check with your healthcare provider. Um, don't just like give your baby whatever. Um, you always wanna make sure it's safe to give and how much to give. So how I give her these is I actually just drop it on my nipple and that's how she takes it. If you bottle feed, you can obviously just put it on the nipple of your bottle. It's, it's always like a bit of a battle. And take your supplement. <laughs> I'm gonna make like a, just a, a salad or something. Something just to th I can throw together because I'm hungry. <laughs> Those granola bites didn't do it. You gonna put for mom? Oh, off to daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, time to make a salad. <laughs> For lunch, I just made a big salad. I have a ton of veg in here. I got pumpkin seeds, dried cranberry seeds, and I did a really simple dressing. I also have some sockeyed uh, salmon. That's just canned salmon I'm gonna throw on top. But Matt doesn't want salmon, so I'm gonna mix this and then put salmon on my portion, and that'll be my source of protein. I also have some avocado in here that will just kind of get mixed up once I toss this. By the way, mine's a lot bigger because Matt is eating chili as well on the side and I'm just having salad. So I'm just gonna break up some of this tuna on top. Or salmon, I mean. This is our new dinner table. Actually, it's been our new dinner table for a long time. Cashew, no, I gave you some salmon already. This is mommy's. <laughs> so Matt. How's newborn life for you? Mm, I feel tired right now. <laughs> I felt good earlier, but once I came home from the walk, I'm like, oh, I feel really tired. People were asking what our nap schedule's like. I feel like our rest is more just like chilling on the couch, watching Netflix. Like, I've been slowly trying to get back into meditation. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's just hard to do it in the mornings, and I don't like doing it at night. I'm telling you, this nursing pillow works for everything. I'm gonna try to eat this with my left hand. I'm hoping she'll have a little nap after I feed her so mommy can do some work. Honestly, I could have a nap. We'll all just have an afternoon nap. So I'm gonna do a baby wrap. I'll show you guys how I do it. I remember. Yeah. Let's see if mommy remembers. I used to find that baby wraps could seem intimidating, but honestly, once you master them, like yesterday, I had so much fun wearing her. It was so comfy and it's just about getting it right. So I will link this wrap that I'm using as well as the tutorial on how to use it. I'm just gonna take off her socks because I don't even know where the other one is. Okay, how do we do this again? Okay, one foot. Okay, wait, let's get your other foot in. Let's get your arms in. Yeah. Well, easier to do this in front of a mirror, but. Okay, you can have their feet in. All right, and then when they're in the newborn stage, you can just take the top part. My little koala bear, huh? And that's all you have to do. Oh wait, I forgot, you can also do this. That's what I was forgetting. So it kind of acts like as a little shirt for you. Oh, that's so cozy. And she probably will nap in this, so we'll see. Hey, okay, so mommy can get some stuff done around the house. Well, Sage is all cozy. 
She likes when I'm moving. Oh, you're gonna sleep good. <laughs> uh, I'll check back in. I bet she's gonna sleep. What time is it? I'm gonna say in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's 3.37 right now. I'm gonna try and finish the rest of my salad, take my vitamins. I gotta take care of mommy, you know, so I can be healthy and strong and not too tired to take care of this one. Okay. Let's move around. I'm just some, I gotta clean. I gotta get stuff done. So she's gotta, she's gotta nap. Yeah, I cleaned out my fridge. We went grocery shopping. And then I went for a little walk with Tina. Yeah, we're gonna go so she's still sleeping, all cozy and cocooned. I'm just gonna tidy up some of the stuff in here. We try to keep her room pretty clean. I always just take a couple of minutes each day just to tidy up anything. It can get messy real quick with a newborn because it can just feel like you don't have time to put anything away. So we just try to clean up after ourselves so it's not super messy. Everything is so cute when it's baby size. Look at these little tights, adorable. I like to hang up as many of her clothing items as possible. I find it's just easier than folding everything. And she got so many cute outfits for Christmas. Oh, so many outfits, nowhere to go. <laughs> Remember before we had Sage, Matt was like, how much laundry can a newborn have? What do you think now, Matt? They got laundry. <laughs> they got yeah. stuff. You're tired today. I'm tired. It's probably your workout that you did. So I was originally planning on making some kind of like snacky dessert for the week, but I'm feeling a little tired. So we're just gonna start prepping dinner early while she's still sleeping on me. Cause then I have to run out and just grab some mail. And my mom also made some homemade soup, but she said I could swing by and grab. So I'm gonna do that. So I have that for tomorrow for lunch. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna do some prepping for dinner. I also, we're just doing like a roasted chicken and veggies. I'm also gonna make a little like Dijon lemon aioli, which I want to sit for a bit. Uh, so we're just kind of making a bigger meal today so we can have it for the week. So yeah, I got carrots, Brussels sprouts, we got some potatoes and a whole organic chicken. So we're just gonna roast everything up and then have that for dinner tonight. And when you have a newborn, you start to eat dinner really early because <laughs> you go to bed earlier. Right, Matt? Yeah, it's good to prep early too, or you get, or you get like, tired and then you're like, oh, let's just order food. Yeah. <laughs> sauce for the Brussels sprouts. Matt's prepping the veggies. And we're taking a break for another feed. As you can see, breastfeeding is an all day job. So I'm very proud of myself. I discovered this yesterday that I can actually feed her in the wrap. So I just have this supporting her head and it's nice cause like I'm still supporting her but it holds her in a little bit easier. And she's cozy, so a lot of times she doesn't like too much light on her face. So she'll put her hand on her head. But this kind of it shades her. This would be good too, Matt, if like I was at someone's house and like I didn't want to have my boobs out. <laughs> I could just feed her like this. She's just in there. Drinking her milky. Someone's got a little gas, huh? She's crying a bit and started farting, so I think... Let's just get some farts. So Matt likes to do his little leg movements, massages to help, to help her toot. Right? Because holding farts is no fun. Gotta give both of them love. Just so you don't think newborn life is all smiles and giggles. Sometimes they're just not happy. Okay, okay we're gonna walk around. You happy now? Are you happy? I look for things I don't know. 
I am so excited about this. Look how good that turned out. Oh. And my Dijon aioli. Oh, kind of reminds me of like artichokes. She always gets fussy around dinner time because she just gets tired or restless. So Matt and I will take turns eating. So he's going to comfort Sage while I eat and then we'll take turns. Oh. She's not happy. Yeah. I know. So Matt ended up figuring out she just had a wet diaper. Who would have thought? So another diaper to the checklist. She's sleeping. All right, so we're just gonna take off this daytime outfit. Why do we do daytime, nighttime outfits? I uh, read it on a blog, said it's a good way to have them recognize bedtime. I mean, I don't know at two months if they can really recognize the difference, but it's a good habit to get into, I'm sure. That one has to go over her. Oh, no, I guess we can do that one. Oh. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, suck it in, Sage. Who changes more our poopy diapers? I think, like, yeah. you get more poopy. I don't know. Let's say you do. I get more diapers in general, I find. And more laundry. And more laundry. Changing her more. Slide the other arm in. Lift her up and just <laughs> slide this all the way down. And it's a bit easier. She looks like a mummy. Yeah. And then it's always this arm's the tr last tricky part where you're like, okay. It's funny, I put the arms on first and then I put it down there. Oh. Uh, I'd have to see that in action. Oh. oh, bless you. Okay. Look at how happy she looks. Yeah. <laughs> and just tie her up like a present. We used to put her to bed at like 10 o'clock and she would just have like an earlier nap on us in the living room. And then it's just kind of like we don't get any alone time just to like chill. So... And she gets tired and then she gets cranky. So now I've been, today's later. Today's what, nine right now? She had no idea. Yeah. Probably 8.30. So I know she's tired. So I'm going to feed her and I'm going to put her to, in her bassinet in the bedroom. And we just kind of put the TV on low. And we can hear her. We're going to go to bed? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sunshine, you are my sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. All right, the little monster is in the bassinet, although she's not sleeping. I took a shower. Yeah. Feel good. Anyways, this is the time of the night where we put her down. And fingers crossed, she stays asleep. Whoa. She's not even asleep yet. I don't I think she'll, I think you'll probably have to go in a little more. Yeah. For a little touch She was just like up. wide awake. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put her in the snoo because the snoo will rock her a bit. Hi, Cash. So I put her in there and sometimes it'll calm her down. It's because she's so tired. Yeah. She keeps talking. We can, we can hear her. Anyway, she's like overtired right now and even rocking her, her eyes were wide awake. So I'm like, okay, let me put her in the snoo for a little bit. See if it'll just calm her down, but I'm probably gonna have to go back in. Sweet. Give it a little bit because it's nice to see if they'll like soothe themselves. I mean, there's a difference between like she's just talking to herself yeah. right now. She's not screaming or anything. It's a difference, yeah, between like eh, and like just eh. Oh, oh she does a little grunt, it's like eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, oh, see, yeah. she's talking to herself. I find sometimes she'll just talk to herself asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta go back in. She's crying. <laughs> Not screaming, but crying. There's like different levels, so. So I just brushed my teeth, washed my face, put my PJs on, and I'm boiling some water to make a tea. Now it's mommy and daddy relaxation time. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna use my neck massager. My neck is so sore from just... 
I don't know if it's from yoga, like my traps, my shoulders, but it could be from carrying baby, breastfeeding baby, soothing baby, all the baby stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> my body's just like defeated. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to watch the movie Blended, chill for a bit. And yeah, I'll probably have to like pop in a couple times um, to breastfeed and stuff. So I'll just note when I do that. But basically from here on out, it's just breastfeeding, back to sleep, breastfeeding, back to sleep. Diaper change, swaddle, back to sleep. <laughs> right? I think that's the routine. So yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to make tea. I'll see you guys in a bit. This is also when the snacks come out. Alright, we just finished the movie. Matt's just putting Cashy to bed. He always gives her a treat and then says goodnight. <laughs> uh, Sage is totally passed out, so we're gonna have to wake her up, change her diaper. It's now 11.20, um, and then we're gonna swaddle her. So we actually double swaddle her at night, which means we like wrap her in a swaddle, and then we put her in the bassinet swaddle. So I'll try to show you guys. It's gonna be a little dark, because I don't wanna wake her up. But we find that's like the way to have them sleep like a long time. Um, so anyways, we've been doing that now for like probably four weeks. No, maybe maybe six now. And it's worked really well. So um, yeah, we're going to go do that. And I'll hopefully have a really good rest because I'm tired. This is like late for us. But it was nice to watch a movie together. She'll probably feed for like 10 minutes at the most, and then um, she'll probably wake up. I think I'm gonna guess 3 a.m. What are you saying? Sounds all right. Yeah, I think she'll sleep for another four hours. So I'll see you guys hopefully for just one middle of the night feed if we're lucky. But um, 24 hours with the newborn it seems like exhausting, man. Okay. I know. All right. Nighty night. See you soon. 3 a.m. Hey, it's 4 a.m. So tired. <laughs> She'll probably only feed for like 10 minutes and then go right back to bed. Uh. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy 